you are tuned in to the youtube channel of mahajan computers in today's discussion we people are going to see how we can use the palette box of netbeans to draw various controls rather various awt controls on the applet form this way we will be saved from having to write the coding for creating and displaying the awt controls I, our first step is go to file new project as you might have guessed in the projects choose java class library click on next give any project name that you want to suppose it's a pl1 finish okay so far so good now next step is click on the project name right click on the project name then go to new in the new you might not find this option applet form in that case you go to other and from other option you would be able to choose applet form so from the next time it will start appearing in the main menu anyways i am going to click on applet form give any applet name that you want to give suppose let it be new applet click on finish this is the sort of form that we will be using layout form now the first step you should go for is right click on this <coughs> panel and uh, go to set layout and click on absolute layout right you can expand it contract it as you wish now go to the palette this is your palette window right and go to the option awt and expand it here you will find all the awt controls which are used in applets Right. I am going to click on label, draw this label wherever you want to and you can increase or decrease its size very conveniently. Then uh, go to the text field, this is your text field, okay and uh, next again choose label and another text field okay this is our third label <clears throat> actually we are going to write down a very simple applet whereby we will be reading the values of principal amount rate of interest and time and subsequently when the user will click on a command button uh, in, a, in another label the simple interest would be displayed Right, this is your uh, next text field and now I am going to draw the label where our simple interest that is our output will be displayed ok now go to label 1 press right mouse button I am going to change its properties go to properties now first go to the text property and type like enter principal amount right you can change the background color also go to the background property click on the ellipse right and now you can choose the desired background color suppose it happens to be this one yeah and uh, you can also change the foreground okay let it be yellow okay you can also change the fonts uh, go to the font property and uh, you can change the font you can change the font style let's make it bold and you can change the font size also And 
similarly go to label 2 go to properties and then in the same manner type the text like look at the rate of interest go to the background property similarly go to the foreground property and change it the way you want and uh, font also let's make it 18 okay similarly on the same lines perform the same steps for label 3 also enter the time is going to be its caption change the foreground color make it yellow go to background and uh, choose any color go to font let's make it pretty close it so these are our labels as far as uh, text fields are concerned, in the same manner, you can change the background color, foreground color, fonts, etc. So, uh, For the time being, I am going to change the font property only. Let it be 14. Size is going to be 14. Same, we are going to do here also. Let's <coughs> make it 14. Okay. I have not changed the foreground color of these text boxes. You can do it. It's quite simple, as I have explained. But as far as uh, uh, the text that is being displayed in these text fields, like text field one, text field two, etc., uh, I would uh, like to remove it. And for this purpose, you can uh, again go to properties and find the text uh, property. This is the text property. And delete its value text field 1 similarly go to properties of text field 2 and here also the text has been written as text field 2 we want to keep it empty so delete it this is our text field okay close it now Let's uh, pay our attention to label 4 also. Okay. I'm not going to change anything else. You can change the foreground colors, background colors, etc. Now, another thing is, uh, like we people uh, create these AWT controls manually in a Java applet program we give reference variable names to the objects of these AWT classes now uh, I will show you where the names variable names have been defined right click on any of the controls like I have right clicked on the text field one see the first option change variable name it has been given as label 1. Suppose you want to make it as LB1. Okay. You can change it. Similarly, go to the second label. 
press right mouse button change variable name and let's make it lb2 so on very easy job to do on the same lines you can change the variable name of your text fields also let's make it tft1 let's make it tft2 and third one change variable name let's make it tft3 actually these are reference variables of the objects of the classes like text field and label anyways uh, in the label 4 we are going to display the simple interest now the awt control that is required now is a simple command button i have taken it from the awt categories the text is button 1 you can change it as per your requirement go to properties and uh, look for the text property and uh, you will see it this place uh, it's label property rather label is button 1 so click to see the interest right okay you can change foreground color background color but for the time being we are not going to do this now my next uh, step should be to write the code in the event of clicking on this command button so i am supposed to write the event method of this command button so what i would do is i will simply click on it see carefully we have been provided with the method uh, with the name button one action performed and as you know there should be uh, a reference variable of action event class as the formal parameter okay uh, I would be declaring the variables through which I would be calculating the simple interest I will be picking up the data from my text fields PMT for principal amount ROI for rate of interest SINT is going to be our output variable whereby we will be storing the simple interest INTTM is for time and uh, see carefully uh, I am going to pick up the value of principal amount from my, from my text field tft1 so pmt is equal to uh, I am going to use the wrapper class because whatever will be picked up from the text field that will be in the form of a string because we want to go for arithmetic calculations we will have to convert it into appropriate numeric value PMT is equal to float dot value of TFT one dot get text dot float value. I'm assuming that you people are already aware about the wrapper classes that we people use to convert the strings into numeric equivalents. So <clears throat> next ROI is equal to float float value of tft2 dot get text dot float value 
similarly tm is for time i will be picking up the time from the third text field name of which is tft3 so as you know we use the wrapper class integer to convert a string into integer tft3 dot get text now sint is equal to principal amount has been picked up from the first text field name of which was tft1 and it was assigned to the variable pmt and rate of interest was picked up from the second text field name of which was tft2 and here we are going to and tm was picked up from the third text field name of which was tft3 so we are simply writing this expression which happens to be the formula for calculating the simple interest and uh, i will be <coughs> printing it in my label label for dot set text right see students uh, see these three tabs source design and history i will be talking about source and design only when you click on design you can see the design part of your applet and if you click on source you can see the code part of your java applet right now in order to execute this uh, java applet you will press f6 shift f6 or if you forget to uh forget this uh, shortcut key you can go to run and click on run file don't click on run project yeah here we go see this is the java applet uh, in the execution stage i am going to enter the principal amount as 1000 rate of interest is 5 and suppose uh rate of interest is 5 suppose the time is 2 i will click on the command button and simple interest has been calculated to be 100 when i executed this program label 4 text was being shown as label 4 i forgot to remove it no problem go to properties and look for the text property remove it close it shift f6 read the values yeah that is the result so i have explained to you everything that is required to design a java applet using the palette window this is called palette window right so next time we will be discussing how to write java swings i hope you enjoyed this lecture we will meet meet next time thank you